Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so I'm excited this morning to show you my new project, um, as has been my plan for some time, um, and I'm just getting around to it now, is to try to keep my website uh, shop stocked with some smaller items rather than just having the big journals one at a time. Um, so as you know, for the time being, I've stopped taking orders. But um, I've been working on some um, notebooks, as you can see here, to make um, to make my work a bit more accessible for everyone. Um, so, as you can see, I have quite a few. Um, they are all the same uh, on the inside. The covers are made with um, very beautiful, I think. <laughs> um, eco dyed fabrics and um, I can call them beautiful because the beauty, beauty doesn't come from me it comes from these beautiful plants and um, leaves so as you can see I have some sort of feature on the front and the back um, a bit plainer this particular one is rose hips and I think that's come out really lovely you can see all the little berry shapes along here so um, all covered in fabric in three different pieces in a nice um, calico cotton and um, this binding um, I'm calling it hills and valleys binding a few people have asked me about it so if I hold the three books together there, you'll see why it's called, um, just try and straighten them up, the hills and valleys, because it, it's up and down like that. Um, and I'm happy to say that I think that I have got a tutorial together for you in how to make that binding, um, which I'm putting on my website shop. So if you're interested, please do go and have a look. Um, there, so it's like a video tutorial lesson. Um, also, I am, of course, putting these books on the website. Also, and what I'm going to do just to make it easier for people um, in different countries is that I will list um, probably three to start off with. Um, I don't know how quickly they will go, but um, if they go quickly then what I'll do is just put two or three each day over the next few days so that whatever time zone you're in um, you know that will be easier for you so in the tutorial you'll see me uh, make one of them it's not about the eco dyeing it's about the um, how to make this binding so I'm going to show you the inside of one of the books so that's that one and we have different end papers in each one um, this one has two the same some are different and um, all the insides are the same and what I've done is used some um, images from my computer some of uh, pressed flowers like this that I've scanned and um, all tea dyed some hand carved um, stamps. Let me just make sure I'm in frame here, yes. And this is not so much a junk journal, but it's more of a notebook um, designed for people who want to write more or less and draw. So as you can see, there is a lot of space. I've used some book pages, I've used some scans of my eco dyed papers. These are these particular ones are in one of the digital kits that you will find there also. Um, and you'll notice all the pages are the same size. It's so it's not junk journally that way, that there's not pockets and flaps. But it is basically a notebook. Um, these are um, prints onto the paper from um, grass as you can see so these are unique um, I've used nice thick paper 
um, another hand carved stamp. Um, this particular stamp I've used a wet ink, I've used um, calligraphy ink so you can see there's no bleed so it's nice quality paper and some inks papers too with um, plant impressions some ledger uh, this is a drawing that I did recently of some rose hips that you might have seen on my Instagram so I've used that as a scan and um, I've used throughout the notebook four nature quotes and um, rather than being quotes about flowers or quotes about birds trees whatever they're actually about nature and I just thought that that fitted quite well so I'm, I'm just going to read you this one because it's really lovely wildness with it excuse me wildness was ever sounding in our ears and nature saw to it that besides school lessons and church lessons some of her own lessons should be learned perhaps with a view to the time when we should be called to wander in wildness to our heart's content john muir i'm absolutely in love with at the moment i wish i could just follow him around <laughs> like a puppy and and just absorb his knowledge and absorb his spirit and his love of nature. He, he was a really wonderful person. So I thought that these nature quotes gave it a nice feel and um, fitted with what I was trying to achieve. Um, of course, the eco dyed covers are all eco friendly, um, used natural dyes to create them all and of course they're all unique um, each piece of fabric is one of a kind some lovely catkins on this um, eco dye paper more leaf impressions so um, for each book, all the the computer scanned pages will be the same. I've done some graphic um, digital stamping, but then you've also got the ink um, transfers and things like that, that that are unique, and the hand cast stamps that are all um, individual. And there you have it. Um, so the books they do open very beautifully. Um, you hopefully will have a lovely writing experience with them so that's the um, the binding and um, if you stay tuned um, I'm going to do a little video about the tutorial itself and uh, what what I do include and what I don't include so if you are interested in in purchasing that lesson then do please watch that video because um, it will save any conf confusion um, the other thing that I wanted to say was that um, now that I've managed to finish this project um, the next thing is going to be just finishing off some little bits and pieces that I've promised people that weren't actually orders but um, things like my uh, fabric bracelets the boho bracelets um, people have asked and I've said I'll put your name down next time I have a batch I will let you know so um, if any of you are um, in that group then I'm hoping that by the end of the year I'll be able to fulfill all those um, promises and my next big project I haven't quite decided so I'm gonna to have to let you guys know uh, please keep following me on Instagram because um, uh, you know if, if there's nothing big to show you then I'll, I'll post little bits of news about what I'm doing on there um, so my website is shibidneary.com I'll leave a link below and uh, thank you all for watching um, and I'll see you soon bye